Hey guys, IB2 coming at you today. We're out at the Byron 80. Gonna clear a trail and start the process of getting a uh, stand set up, stand site set up. And what I'd like to do is get a trail cut in to a straight line to the stand. Uh, kind of look at the stand site and then I gotta clear away a little bit of brush and make a pinch point down in there for them. So that's what we're gonna get started on doing. First thing I did is uh, I took the chainsaw in right here right quick and uh, uh, made me a straight line rough trail to get in. And what I'd like to do on this is pile the brush, drop the trees um, parallel to my trail to hopefully inhibit some of the deer moving across that trail and in behind and either pushing them out in front of that stand or way back here where they you know they won't be a, a hopefully a wind situation and whatnot but so we're gonna get after that I'll show you the trail that we cut right quick and what I got going here is I uh, cut me a pretty straight line down through there clearing some of that brush and getting in uh, this would be the entry point to a stand obviously we're hunting a northerly component of the wind um, but here's the first few yards and then as we get up in here you can see i have uh cut down through there and then you can see my coat on a piece of brush and then up in there we have a, a yellow ribbon on a pine tree that's going to be the stand site. I'm having trouble finding it in the viewfinder, but hopefully we can see it flopping in the wind down there. Oh, there it is. So here's our basic setup. I want to get a ladder stand up in this pine tree, hooked in there for a right-handed shooter. And what I'm looking at is from this tree facing this direction, I believe what I'm going to do here is I'm going to scooch over here. I'm going to drop, let's see, not that one, this maple this way and kind of hopefully build a little bit of a fence right there and then take these smaller trees, pile them on that so that we can create an inside corner that's about 15, 17, 20 yards out there. And what I'd like to do is kind of funnel this deer activity so it comes down a little bit in front here and then shooting out along these tops. So we got tops in behind us that are going to create good cover and good barrier. And then we have kind of a natural edge, which I'll enhance over time, that gets out to the food and some more bedding down there. Definite bedding out in front of this stand site uh, here and 200 yards down so again this stand I'm trying to set up uh, northwest west straight north possibly even a north easterly wind anything with, definitely with a north and west component to it and then I'll bring the tractor in here eventually push this brush back and kind of make a corner here with a licking branch and then probably eventually get a little green in here but I don't think I'll get to that this year but then continue to work on creating that fence this way so we want to push that deer out in front um, you can see right here there's a deer track right here right next to the stand headed that way so they're kind of using this already so we'll go see what it looks like right now from the uh, front single track here don't know what that means but it's a looks like an adult deer so this is kind of where we're getting out and uh, I'm gonna drop that tree hopefully across this and as we can see there's a natural run coming right here and so stand site right there 12 to 15 yards So looking at that, maybe I won't drop that across. Maybe I'll work just to get a fence going up in here, push them out just a little bit. 
obviously and then you can see again this is headed down through there with a stand site here downwind on a northerly some little shoots coming up but you can see we got kind of a natural down through here so we're gonna enhance that and then like I say get some of these smaller ones down open our lane right here push brush against there and kind of force them around this corner between 15 and 25 yards so that's what it looks like. There's our pine tree back in there. I'll get after it. We'll see what we can get done. But you can see up in here, all bedding. Probably deer bedded up in there right now. But And you can see that there's definite movement along this already. So uh, just making some enhancements. Well, as you can see, I got myself in a little bind here. I did not expect that tree to go that way and so I got my saw pinched in here hopefully I can pull it enough with the winch got the winch hooked up to the four-wheeler here we'll see what what I can do Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna wrap her up at this uh, stand site for today. And I'm gonna show you what we got done in just about two hours. First thing we talked about was getting that straight line entry in. We got that in down right through here. Need some cleanup. But uh, in no particular order here, I'll show you the work that I did. Um, so knowing that I'm a right-handed shooter and we're gonna set up in this pine tree and probably be facing just a little bit here I went ahead and dropped a bunch of these maples to create somewhat of a tornado zone so that I can discourage hopefully deer from approaching on the probably gonna be the bad wind side as well as the weak side and so hopefully we encourage them to continue out in front make a decision and go that way or continue forward so what i started doing is i'll get out front i think we can see it a little better but for now i hinge these maples eventually i'm going to take them out um but i got enough work done here that i'm ready to get my tractor in here and do the heavy stuff so i went through buzz this pile up into more manageable uh, log sizes to push with the bucket and uh, give you an overview of kind of what we're looking at here so the natural travel pattern line of travel is out here you can see that run going down through there and that's where we're going to connect um, the trail out the, there's a logging trail out there we're going to connect to which it kind of already does naturally so left this open for them and again stand sites back here we're standing at about 20 yards and uh right now i could probably leave this because this comes around comes around here and pushes them so they make a decision one way or the other but I'm gonna shove that back up and give us about a 25 yard opening here. So that brush will go along this brush line here and push it back just a little bit. So as you can see, we got good cover, good line of sight for shooting. 
continuing down the deer's line of travel. Um, they're not going to want to go in there. And we're well within bow range. And as we can see, we got a natural line of travel heading up right through here to the Oak Flats. Now, I uh, also enhanced this natural connector. Piled up some brush left and right. Get that top out of there. But then, again, right here, I'm dropping perpendicular to the trail. So they can't get out right there, but backing up here, they can still get out that way if they want. But as you can see, this is a pretty natural travel lane. Uh, and so we're working on connecting that back to the north here. So dropped a few branches in here. Again, discouraging an early exit into that bedding area encouraging to come around in front of the sand site just continuing so, just one more thought i think you can see here really what that does we're coming out here deer's gonna look left look right go back and by the time they make that decision obviously they're probably not going to run through that crap but i'm going to push that back just a little bit so we got a little more of an opening here and they're in bow range right now so making a decision one way or the other obviously to me it looks like they're not going to go forward but he may go up this way he may go up this way and so that's what we're hunting is basically an intersection here and, and then enhancing it to our advantage i think that tree's going to work out nice so that's the project we got done here. Now I'm gonna move up to the north and uh, work on another one up there. So let's go get them.